Mike Fisher, Ari Temkin. Make sure to subscribe to the pages. Search Ari Sports on YouTube. Search Mike Fisher DFW on YouTube. Subscribe and ring the bell. That way you're notified when there's Cowboys breaking news or the latest insights and information. Opening press conference from Mike McCarthy. Your, your impressions. Well, the star of the show, of course, is Jerry because that's always the way it's going to be. And as long as it's fun, um, uh, fun over here and football over here, I'm all for it. And so Jerry talking about, um, in, in a way that used marriage and love and sex uh, in, in an analogy style way, talked about how after, uh, or in the middle of the two day visit with Mike McCarthy, he heard bells, you know, the way a, the way a, a couple in love hears bells. Um, and so that explains why there wasn't extensive more and more and more interviews. And Mike McCarthy countered by saying Jerry reached over to me and grabbed my forearm and said, you need to be the next head coach of the Dallas Cowboys. So that part is headline grabbing, and that's important. From a, a, a perspective of what was your impression of Mike McCarthy before? What's your impression now? Has it changed? I think what changed it is the McCarthy Project. His work with uh, NFL Network and Tom Palisaro and then Peter King did some things too. Right. Put him back on the map in a way that I'm not sure he was. I don't know about you, Ari, but right. you know, three months ago I wasn't going, well, all I know is every team's got to interview Mike McCarthy. I didn't think that, uh, and I don't know that the league thought that, but he reinvented himself and then used the media to help paint that picture, and then you saw a picture uh, at this press conference. He was, he, he was kind of funny, and he was semi-revealing, but he was also very much in charge, and Jerry told the joke, and I don't know if everybody got it, about picking your staff. Um, Mark Colombo right now is not going to be here, and a whole bunch of other guys that are under contract are not going to be here, and Kellen Moore is going to be here, but I don't think he's going to call the plays. Those aren't the Joneses' ideas. Those are McCarthy's ideas. Do you think that, that it's Mike McCarthy's idea that Kellen Moore stay on staff, or do you think he was influenced by Jerry in that regard? Jer Jerry, by the way, did say, <laughs> it's never been my thing to have. <laughs> That's the joke that not everybody got. Right. Um, for 25 years, the Joneses have foisted assistant coaches that they liked upon the head coach, starting with Barry Switzer. Um, it, it's hard to make that work. It's why there was conflict on this year's staff. And maybe there's always conflict on staffs, and then you don't make the playoffs, and then it gets all the much worse. But, yeah, absolutely, uh, the Joneses would have loved to have Mark Colombo be here, and it doesn't look like he's going to be. Joe Philbin probably going to get that job. And, by the way, I'm told by two sources, Joe Philbin might be the assistant head coach. Uh, that, that's how much um, McCarthy's attached to him. And then some other guys that, that uh, the Joneses have affection for and contracts with that will get paid now to not coach here. Does, do you think this informs off-season decision-making for Mari Cooper, for Randall Cobb? And not, not just because of Cobb's familiarity with McCarthy, but, but I mean, because they seem to be erring on the side of more consistency with the, with, the, with the group. I think Randall Cobb, just to pick one guy, and I don't know that he's a headliner here, except he was among the many Cowboy players who showed up. That's wise of him. It's a good idea. Get in good with the old boss and the new boss. Uh, maybe Randall Cobb takes less money to play again under uh, this coach. But there's no question that in their 48 hours worth of meetings, they covered how Dak can be uh, as Aaron Rodgers-like as possible. Uh, they covered the Ezekiel Elliott thing. There's still people that wonder, well, he didn't have a bunch of 1,000-yard rushers in Green Bay. Yeah, but he didn't have Ezekiel Elliott. Right. Uh, it's, it's, it's really mind-numbing. And then the Jones family has made it clear that they want Amari Cooper here. And if you were Mike McCarthy running an offense, wouldn't you want Amari Cooper to be part of it? Mike Fisher, Ari Temkin. Make sure to subscribe to the pages. Search Ari Sports on YouTube. Search Mike Fisher DFW on YouTube. Subscribe and ring the bell. That way you're notified when there's Cowboys breaking news or the latest insights and information.